Hi there, doing an impromptu video today. I have my Archer and Olive Fall haul that I wanted to share with you. So let's get into it. Just wanted to do a quick apology. It's so impromptu that I even have the dryer going. So I apologize if it's noisy in the background, but I just wanted to share what I got because I'm super excited. Starting off strong, we've got the B6 Acorns. My coworkers swear by this size, so I thought it would be fun to get one and give it a try. I've been really loving the full cover designs that we've been releasing recently, so I definitely decided to get the full cover design in the acorn, obviously, and then B6 size. Which, if you've been around for a while, you know the B6 is a huge departure for me because I'm a B5 girl. <laughs> so this is the B5 in the attic. So this is the owl sitting on a stack of books. And let me tell you, I was blown away. Um, I wasn't sure how much I was gonna like this notebook, but I just love the feel of the cover. And then the owl is just so beautiful. This might actually be a contender for my next bullet journal. So I'm super excited, still trying to decide and I'll show you what I'm trying to decide between. Next up, I haven't even opened it yet, but another B5. And this is the vintage camera. I really love the debossed print on the notebook and the color is really beautiful. This might be the contender for my next bullet journal, but again, I'm not sure, but it's really pretty. The issue when you have too many choices. <laughs> So I love the vintage camera a lot and I decided it would be fun to see the A6 size vintage camera. My son has already decided this is for him, <laughs> but I normally obviously don't get notebooks this size, but this is super cute. And like I said, my son has claimed it, so I might get a different or I might get an A6 in the next release or when A6 is released again. Still deciding, but it's super cute and I just love the debossed feel of the icon. Then, of course, I had to get a stamp set. This is the Snapshot stamp set. And of course, I was so silly, I didn't even realize these icons are from the September set box, or sorry, the July set box, June set box. I'll get there eventually, um, which I thought was really cool. I can't believe I didn't see that when I first saw the stamp set. So I'm super excited about that. And yeah, I'm, I wanna get going on these guys because they're just super fun. And of course the stamp set comes with black ink and then a stamping block. Next up, I got the notepad, the Neapolitan notepad in B6. I believe these are sold out now, um, but it's got the different lighter colors. There we go. The pink and the craft and the, it's not white, it's like a creamy white. So this is the B6 size. I got it in the, so I got the A5 size in the notepad as well. I like having the different sizes so that when I can do my layout, so I don't necessarily always have to cut things to size. I just really love the pink and the craft paper and the ivory tone. So I just decided to get both. And this is letter size. Oh my goodness. I hadn't even looked at this yet. This book is so gorgeous. This is the first time I've seen it open. And of course, there's already a cat whisker. There's already a cat hair in there, but oh, I love this book so much. And if you look at the back cover, it's just such a beautiful design. Don't know what I'm gonna use this one for yet, but I'm super excited to figure it out and have it when it's time. And then lastly for books, I got the 8x8 frame wall. I love this one so much. As uh, if you watch my September setup, this was my inspiration for my setup or part of my inspiration for my setup. So I knew I had to get this notebook when it came out. Now for accessories, I got the vintage 
camera washi tape set because it's just too cute and I love it so much and I love these colors a lot so I think I'm gonna get a lot of use out of these I also got the frame wall washi and I think these two are my favorite so I'm really excited to get going and get some ideas going for using the washi tapes then, of course, I had to get the fountain pen, and there she is. My goodness, it's heavier than I thought. That's so nice. It's got a nice weight to it, which is going to make it very comfortable to write with, which I love. And then, of course, it's got the twisty ink, or oh, you twist it in order to get the ink in which is going to be fun. So I am excited to get this guy all set up. I just have to choose which ink I want to use. Speaking of ink, I got the fountain pen ink set. Now I know these boxes look a little banged up, but I am in Canada. So sometimes this is just the reality of life. For me, I once got a shipment that had been inspected by Canada Border Revenue people or Border Agency and they absolutely destroyed the box. So I'm just grateful when it comes in one piece. Wow. Okay, so here we have the ink. This is chestnut, amber, and slate. Ooh, I'm super excited about the slate. I'm curious to see, I wanna start using more gray inks to do my illustrations and my drawings in my sketchbook. So I'm excited to give that a try and see, but I think I might be filling my Archer and Olive pen with the chestnut for September. So I think that'll be fun. Next up. I got the acrylographs and the calliographs that are the full colors, so I need to get swatching on those. I actually haven't swatched my spring or my summer acrylographs yet, so or the ones I've gotten in sub boxes. So I really need to get on that because I need to add them to the set. I'm trying to decide how I want to swatch these, so if you have any like fun or unique swatch ideas, let me know. I'm starting to think I might just swatch them Kind of like you get the Pantone color cards, but then just do all the pinks together and all the reds together and so on and so forth. I'm still deciding what I want to do, but let me know if that is something you might be interested in downloading for yourself even. Uh, yeah, just let me know down in the comments or ideas for how you're swatching your acrylographs and calligraphs. Okay, now... I decided to get the vegan leather pen pouch. Oh my goodness, that is so fun. I am so excited. It's just so beautiful. So this year my kids are going to have a lot of after school activities and so I'm actually gonna have a reason for using this a lot. And so I'm excited to be able to toss some supplies in a pretty bag and then get going to whatever we're doing. And then the piece de resistance, this guy. I had to get this guy. My boss had this uh, sample at Go Wild in April and she showed it and I was mad that I couldn't get it right away. So I am so excited to have this. And I love that it's got its own little pocket that's not part of this, if that makes sense. I have a lot of bags where this bottom zips shut, but this I like. I like that it's got its own little separate pocket. And then, yeah, when I travel, I can just pop my passport and my ID in there and I'm good to go. It's got another little pocket down here. It's not too deep. It just comes to the bottom of this. And then it's got the two deep pockets there, which is fantastic. It's got the laptop bag back there. And then there's the inside and the strap. 
So what I think I'll do is when my oldest son, oh, there's the strap, sorry, <laughs> and there's inside. So I think when my oldest son has his activities, I'll pack one of my creativity cases for my little guys so that he doesn't get bored. And then I can pack my stuff in here and then that way there's activities for each of us to do. The other thing I really like is the side pocket. There's like elastic and it stretches pretty far. So I'm excited about that. I could probably put one of my water bottles, my slimmer water bottles in there. So that'll be great. So there were a couple things that I missed in previous releases. So we're gonna start with the B stamp set. I got the typewriter stamp set but I didn't get the B and then after the fact I decided that I wanted to get the B. So I um, ordered the B stamp set and I'm really excited. When I was working on a project I had some ideas for it. So I'm yeah I'm excited to start playing and start putting some ideas together and maybe do a collage with the stamps or yeah be creative. <laughs> be creative. And then, and I can't believe I didn't get one before, but I got a sticker keeper. It was a toss up between the black or the olive for me, but I decided to get the olive. I think, so I don't plan with stickers monthly. So what I was actually thinking about doing with these is using these for project ideas that I have and then putting the elements for my projects inside the zipper pockets. So um, rolling off the washi that I need or, or putting a swatch, a swatch sheet in here for the project and then the stickers that I wanna use, the paint colors that I wanna use. So this is gonna become like a mini visual project binder. So let me know if you want to see me set that up I'm super excited. I, when I got that idea, I knew I had to have the sticker keeper right away, even though it wasn't something I was going to work on right away. But I think, I think that's going to be fantastic for those ideas. Like maybe even do my swatching for my monthly themes or my sketches for my monthly themes. I think that could be a really, really fun idea. And then of course, I love the pockets, maybe put some percolating ideas in the pockets and see how it goes. Let's pull this guy out. Yeah. So that is my fall haul from Archer and Olive. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I'm super excited. I know that October or sorry, September is coming, which means obviously there are more releases coming. So definitely stay on their socials to get an idea for when to expect those. If you see anything in this video that you like, I do have an affiliate link that you can check out and a code that you can use for 10% off. This video is technically not sponsored, but I did not pay for these items. So don't know, like <laughs> it's a bit of a gray zone, but yes, this is not sponsored, but I didn't pay. So just wanted to be very clear about that. So. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Again, let me know down below how you're swatching your acrylographs and if you'd be interested in a kind of swatch, Pantone swatch flip situation. <laughs> for lack of a better word. Thank you so much for watching today and I'll see you in the next one. For more stationery reviews, make sure to check one of these two videos linked down below and I will see you over there. Thank you for watching today.